I'm starting with my L'Oreal Youth Coat uh, Pore Banisher. This is going to be my primer and I'm applying it all over where I have pores and everywhere else in my face. I'm going in with my Infallible from L'Oreal. I'm using two colors so it'll match. And what I'm doing is I'm actually using a foundation brush to kind of paint it onto my face. The reason why I'm using this brush first is because I want really, really full coverage. Because this is pretty much my soft glam look. So I really want the makeup to look very full coverage. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just pretty much painting on the foundation all over my face. This will help actually make it more like grasp into my skin. This found this brush. So now I'm going in with the Sigma uh, Flat Top Kabuki brush. And what I'm doing is I am pretty much just going to buff it all in to make it look a little bit more flawless look. So once I'm done with that, I'm actually moving on to my eyebrows. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm moving on to my powder. This will help me set everything in and it absorb all the oils and everything and make it look a little more mattifying. So now I'm going on to my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Brow Gel to pretty much get everything in place. And I did it off camera because it takes a while. Here I'm just applying a little bit of concealer as my base. And now I'm going in with a Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm using that salted caramel color. It's almost gone. So sad I hit pan on it already. So what I'm doing is I'm using a big um, fluffy, fluffy brush just like that. What I'm doing here is I'm just applying a little bit of powder just to set in the concealer and let the um, shadow pretty much sit a little bit better onto my eye. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the salted caramel with that big blending brush and I'm just applying it all over my crease up to a little bit up to my brow bone. And I'm just pretty much blending that. That's This is just what I'm doing onto my eyes, as you guys can see. Just crease, a little bit of blend upwards. And now I'm using that highlight color from Jar Cosmetic, which is um, Audrey. And I'm applying that as my highlight brow bone. And I want it to look very bright. And I'm applying it a little bit onto the tear ducts inner corner of my eyes and I'm just blending everything away no harsh lines so now I'm going with the shade and light um, contour palette and I'm using that light powdery color for my lids I'm just packing that on some my lid and pretty much that's it and of course always blend away I'm just going in with just a little bit more and just to pretty much intensify a little bit more that salted caramel color onto my crease and I know I have my eyeliner on I noticed that the camera wasn't recording but all I did I used a fill tip pen um, for like I like liquid liner and I just drew out a wing line on my eyes and I did drag the wing out of very far because I'm trying to make it look dramatic I used the cover girl um, liner for this i will lift it down below and now of course is glam a look so i'm applying my falsies and i'm using the um, coco lashes in coco and after i apply the lashes i like to go in a little bit more with a little bit more of the liner just to cover any of the glue or if the lash line kind of looks if you can see the lash line so here i'm just applying mascara i'm using the makeup forever mascara and I am coming back in with a little bit of more of that white, um, that light powder just to emphasize a little bit more my lids. So that is it for the eyes. Now moving on to my concealer. I'm using the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. And what I'm doing is, of course, you guys already know my technique for highlight and contouring. I'm doing the triangle shape under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on the forehead. So now I'm going in with um, a brush, that's the foundation brush, just to make sure that it sets into my skin. And then with a buffing brush, what I'm doing is I'm actually just blending everything away, just to make it look a lot more um, normal, <laughs> I would say. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going in with my trusty contour palette, which is the Kat Von D with that same powder color. I'm going to um, grab a lot and place that under my eyes. So pretty much set my makeup. I'm not baking my face. I'm just setting my makeup. I'm setting my concealer and my under my eyes. And then I just like to do a little bit pretty much under where the contour goes just to make it look a little more on the dramatic side. So I'm just making sure everything is completely blended. Not much. Now for contour, of course, you guys can see how excited I am about this palette. I'm going in with that middle color, which is the only one I use. And I'm just going to contour. So 
so I'm just contouring uh, the shallow parts of my the hollow parts of my face I'm sorry and now I'm going in with the Milani XL bronzer and I'm using that as a bronzer on top of my contour just to bring more warmth into my face since I don't use blush for this type of look it's just pretty much a lot of contour and bronzer and of course bring that onto the temples of my face and down my jawline down my neck as well just to make sure everything evens out now I'm going to contour my nose is completely extra stepped you guys would could do it if you want to but I have to contour my nose so I'm just blending so now I'm going in with um, the mascara this one is the covergirl mascara and I'm just pretty much going in with my bottom lashes I like to do my bottom lashes after I do my concealer I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics um, Audrey highlight and I'm bringing that onto my face I am strobing my face pretty much I love this highlighter girls you guys don't even know how awesome this highlighter is if you haven't tried must try and I'm bringing more highlight onto my brow bone and that is all I do and now for the lips I have been obsessing over this Hydra matte lip stain from Gerard Cosmetics and the color I'm using is the Aphrodite which is sort of like a very light orangey color I would say and I love it because it doesn't dry out my lips during the day but it stays and I just love the color it's a beautiful matted orangey color I just I just love it I can't get enough of it <laughs> so this is it this is my everyday self glam look I love it it's very easy as you guys can see it doesn't have much on the eyes it's just one two colors I would say a lot of highlight and a lot of bronzer and I love it I hope you guys did too tell me what you guys think about it down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel um hello what are you waiting for <laughs> thank you so much for sticking till the end ladies I love you all bunches and as always, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you in my next video. Bye.